So standard ABVD chemotherapy certainly causes neutropenia. Um, the interesting thing about it though is that um, the rate of neutropenic fever with ABVD chemotherapy is, is, is very low. Um, in fact, and we normally, for patients, for young patients who, who are the majority of patients with Hodgkin lymphoma who are receiving ABVD chemotherapy, I typically do not give growth factor unless they've had a history of having some trouble with um, you know, getting admitted for neutropenic fever or had trouble with infections. Um, and in fact, it's been shown that we can even treat these patients on time despite the fact that they're neutropenic when, when they come in to see us. And, and I really advocate to try to keep their treatment on time even if they're neutropenic because I think that that has an important impact on making sure that they're you know, trying to optimize their chance of being cured. Um, when we bring in brentuximab to that regimen, um, so the brentuximab plus AVD regimen, um, it was a little bit of a surprise at first, um, but the, the rate of neutropenic fever was much higher than what is expected with ABVD. And so it was, we learned that we have to give growth factor with that regimen. Um, and so, uh, you know, so that you know, is what I consider to be the standard of care. Um, the more intense regimen that we sometimes use for, es for, for Hodgkin lymphoma, which is escalated BIACOP, certainly has an even higher chance of causing neutropenic fever. We always use growth factor with that regimen. Um, and, you know, and, and despite that, some patients will get admitted for neutropenic fever. So, um, so certainly all of these regimens cause neutropenia, but the degree and the chance of neutropenic fever, which is really what we're trying to prevent um, when we're giving growth factor, you know, can vary a little bit.